Alright guys, welcome back to the last tutorial in this little mini-series. And of course, right now, what we did is we went to a web page, we got all the words, we have them in the list of nice clean words without any stupid symbols, so now we just need to create a dictionary. A dictionary, of course, consisting of each word and how many times it appeared in the web page. Very simple stuff. So, I'm going to make a function called create dictionary and of course we need to pass it in our nice clean word list right there and now since we're actually saying that we're gonna create a function let's go ahead and create the function so that's our function name pass it in that looking good so the first thing we need is to create a blank dictionary that's gonna store all of the words so I'm just gonna name it word count and of course to create a blank dictionary just set it equal to two little curly braces right there so now what we want to do is we're essentially just gonna loop through our list of words so I'll just put I don't know I'll just name it for word in clean word list and not were or war however you say it now for each word it's actually gonna be really easy what we want to do is we want to say okay if that word is already in the dictionary then just add one to whatever the current count is if it's not in there yet then create an entry for it and set it equal to one since it's the first time coming across that word so we'll say if word in word count then this means that it already came across that word before it's already in your dictionary so all we need to do is take the word count so in this dictionary, wherever that word is, add one to the value of it. So if it came across it nine times before, it would add one to it. Of course, I don't know, it's self-explanatory. So else, this is gonna occur if it's the first time coming across the word. So I can actually copy this. And if it's your first time coming across the word, then add that word to the dictionary and set the value equal to one or the counter equal to one whatever you want to call it so now with this loop we created a dictionary that stores each word in that web page and it also stores the frequency or amount of times that that word occurred so that's all we have but right now our dictionary is just whatever order it was processed in and it's unsorted of course what we want to do is we want to sort our dictionary based on the frequency of the words that occurred so I don't want to go and scroll through everything and try to look for the highest one I want a program to do that so how do we sort a dictionary by the value well all we do is this for there's actually a bunch of different ways but this is actually a really easy one so for key value because we're looping through a dictionary in sorted now sorted basically takes the first parameter is saying what do you want to sort well we just want to sort this dictionary word count and we want to go through each items and this is pretty much saying um, I don't know it's just saying you need to give it a bunch of items to sort now each dictionary item is made up of a key and a value the key is the word like we learned and the value is the frequency so it would be like tuna 18 bucky 4 so what we want to do is if we just sort it by the key it's gonna sort in alphabetical order if we sort it by the value it's gonna sort in numerical order so this is kinda of confusing um, a parameter of sorted because it uses key but it's not talking about the dictionary key whenever we pass it in the parameter in sorted function it's saying the key is basically tell me what you want to sort by so we want to sort by operator item getter one so what's this mean well like I said what operator does is it's basically something that we import it and it just allows you to work with the built-in data types in Python so it's not really important it's nothing that we have to memorize now what item getter is is it basically says okay I'm gonna go to your dictionary and I'm gonna get an item from your dictionary to sort by now your dictionary each um, entry 
only has two specific items. It's composed of a key and a value. So if we wrote zero, it would sort by key. We want to sort by the value, so we're going to pass it in one. Simple enough. So now all we have to do is now that we got a nice sorted dictionary, we just need to print it out. So key and value, and this is going to print out a nice, hopefully, sorted dictionary. So check that out. So actually, you see how this is sorted by value now? So the word A occurred 34 times. The word, I don't know, about occurred 6. I'll show you guys what I was talking about with this. If we sort it by the zero with item, in other words, the key, of course, that's when it sorts by alphabetical order. And we don't want that. We want it to sort by the value or the amount of times the word occurred. So that's what we get. So on this web page, the most frequently occurring word was A. And if we scroll down, all the unique words were this. Feature, through, great, hungry, clearly, inch, encourage, all of that stuff. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you make a word counter or a frequency counter in Python. And again, you can use this for a bunch of stuff. Search engines use this to find out what content is your website related to. If you ever make an ad network, then you would look at this and, says, uh, and say, okay, so this website must be related to tutorials in bacon, which pretty much that's all my website is. So it would put ads about tutorials and bacon on there. And um, well, if you ever were just interested in maybe your own blog saying, okay, what words do I use more than I should? Okay, I should probably start stop typing A every other sentence. You know, you could do something like that. So hopefully it helped you out. And also, as always, if you want any of the source code from this tutorial, then just go to my forum. And I'm going to be posting it all in the Python section right here. So, uh, well, that's it. And also, if you have any tips for improvements or if you want to offer any suggestions on how this can be better, maybe taking out some common words, then join the discussion. We would love to have you. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.